Hello. This was shared on the UFC's Instagram, and the moment the strike connected, everyone was raving that it should have been KO of the year. That's definitely a very special knockout, using a Muay Thai style roundhouse, he transitions to a Taekwondo style spinning back kick. How did he manage to land such a phenomenal technique? Thank you for joining me on this breakdown as we take a closer glance. Stepping in, note how the lead arm is down as counterbalance and with the left hand extending out as a feint, his opponent still doesn't buy it. The roundhouse didn't emphasize speed really and the telegraph, the windup was massive. Even then, because the body mechanics were relaxed, the technique solid, it had a lot of body weight behind it. But because it was so easily seen and because he didn't retract it back quickly, it was easily caught. Usually getting a kick caught can mean getting countered clean. Donald Cerrone versus Jorge Masvidal or Darren Till may ring a bell, but as his opponent tries to step in against that caught kick, the moment that intention was felt, the rotation begins. This style of kick is usually seen to the body, but the balance possessed by Joe Quinn Buckley is remarkable. Look at how remarkable his technique is, how he's using his left hand to aid the motion of the kick. It's expected to use your arms to pump more kinetic energy into a strike, like legs pumping on a swing. Watch how he throws his arm down on the rotation. The moment that motion was completed, boom. On connection, it was like he had a blast from Sub-Zero hiding in his foot, iced. From there, the lights had no choice but to go out. Sun Tzu. The art of war. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. In the state the world is in today, let this lesson let you know that even in uncertainty, there is hope. Especially in uncertainty, there is hope. To recognize the opportunity to prepare for it and to trust your execution, your timing, when the window presents itself. When you understand, you realize that the philosophy overarching this finish is true regardless of arena, to the end. When things are the hardest, when things are the most chaotic, the most uncertain, if you can recognize the opportunity, that moment is also when you unsuspectingly have the most power. You just have to find it. In chaos, there is always opportunity. Thank you all for watching and until next time, peace.